please rise for the Pledge to the Flag. Good morning, Cedar Crest. I'm Annie Gerhardt. And I'm Abigail Greenwald. Today is Tuesday, April 3rd. Coming up, we have Eric with your weekly was. Also, Mr. Powers called us out last night for spreading some fake news on yesterday's show. We'll set the record straight. We'll be right back with this and all of your school news. In class news, an admissions representative from Shippensburg University will be visiting Cedar Crest on Monday, April 16th. Please sign up at the College and Career Center desk located in the library if you are attending, interested in attending this meeting. Sophomores and juniors get a jump on Project Life. LVC will host a two, day, two job shadow days. Space in this program is very limited. Registration is required. Job shadow experiences in healthcare fields are also available through UPMC Pinnacle in Harrisburg. On April 14th, experience nursing in the operating room, emergency room, and other units. Free lunch is included. There is no charge, but registration is required. On April 21st, students interested in the field of radiology can shadow various imaging areas. For students interested in research, April 28th is the Experience the Laboratory Day. Stop at the counseling office for registration information for all of these opportunities. Club news, all applications for seniors who want to direct a one-act play are due by Friday in room 608. Auditions for one-act plays will be held in the auditorium on Tuesday, April 10th. For all students in any grade can audition. All forms for Drama Club members interested in running for an officer's position next year are due back by tomorrow at 2.30 in room 608. If you enjoy archery and would like to help start an archery club, stop in the counseling office to sign up. All Minithon members will meet in the cafe every activity period until Minithon on April 13th. The meetings will be tomorrow, Wednesday, April 4th, and Wednesday, April 11th. If you are not scheduled for another club, attend these meetings and help plan the event. It is time to sign up for Minithon floor hockey tournaments. Forms can be found in the main office. Cost is $8 per team, unless you get the form in before the early bird registration, which drops the cost to $4 per team. There is a cap of 10 teams, so get your team of four girls and four boys together ASAP. Turn your form and money into Mrs. Springmore to ensure your spot for the kids. In school news, donate to your favorite teacher's dare jar. All money raised benefits Minithon. I sure would like to see Mrs. Martin take on Mr. Powers in that wing eating contest. You know, Mr. Powers called us out last night on Twitter for spreading fake news. Really? What did he say? <laughs> His tweet reads, Sorry to say there was some fake news happening, though. At Mrs. Martin CCHS said we had a marshmallow eating contest, when in reality it was part of a team relay race. We were never we were never head-to-head -head eating them. That's right. That was part of a relay race last spring. We want to make sure we set the record straight, so there you go. There's more. Mr. Powers followed up with a second tweet that says... Furthermore, marshmallows are gross. Chicken wings are mm, good with a chicken leg emoji. Well, he does have a point, but that was quite the Twitter storm. All sides have been heard, so let's get those dare jars full so that we can settle this dispute with wings. Relay for Life t-shirts are on sale all week in the 200 hallway before and during homeroom. T-shirts are $8 and it counts as a donation for one of your classes. Open studio will be held today after school until 4 p.m. As always, all art teams <coughs> are open for any CCHS student to explore their visual creativity. And now we send it over to Eric with your sports report. Thanks, guys. In sports news, boys volleyball fell to Mannheim Central last night. Three games to none. Adam Rockow had eight kills and three solo blocks in the loss. The lo girls lacrosse game was postponed. That was all for your school sports action last night. Tonight is a busy night for school sports. Boys basketball is at McCaskey, track and field is at McCaskey, and softball hosts McCaskey. That's all for your weekly wise. So back to Annie and Abby. 
Thanks, Eric. That's all for your morning announcements today. I'm Minnie Gerhardt. And I'm Abigail Greenwald. Make it a great day, Cedar Crest.